So I'm Mo from Mo's Magic. Uh, I've been coming to Mo's for probably four or five years. Over two years, I'd say. For about three years now. I like coming to Mo's is because um, everyone here is is uh, here to have fun, um, but also play really competitively and play to the best of their ability. It's a really tight-knit community. Um, you get to know people really, really well. Um, you become close. Uh, they become really good friends, not just to play magic, but also to uh, just kind of pal around and chat. He remembers everyone's name, even if you don't come here for a year. He'll You walk in the door, he knows you. What is magic? Magic is a collectible card game and it's uh, made in 11 different languages. It was uh, first uh, made in 1993 by a man named Richard Garfield. Uh, it is played in over 30 countries around the world. It's huge, it's gone mainstream. I love the game. So uh, I find it easier if you are in love with something, that you, it's easier for you to sell it. I started in Magic in 1994 in August with the first set would be Legends. I was living in Mississauga at the time and we had walked into a little hobby store and they had the uh, displays of the revised starters up in front of their display case and I asked the guy what this game was and he didn't had no clue what the game was about so we had bought two starters one for me and my wife and we took them home and we were reading the little tiny tiny little booklets rule booklets that came with it and uh, that was the hard way of learning how to play magic I really felt that this area and being Fergus Orangeville this area here um, really had a lack of hobby stores and uh, it I felt like there was a, a hole there that had to be filled. Most Magic really is more than just about magic itself. Most Magic is really about a community and it's about supporting the community. And um, I do a lot of work with a lot of schools. Most Magic is not just about this location, about magic being played at this location. It's about the community that we've created. My wife often says that I've created the uh, cheers of magic. So everyone here kind of knows everyone and it's a really friendly place to play. This August will mark the eight year anniversary of the store. It's flown by pretty fast. When magic wasn't so well known, uh, I would be pulling into say like Fergus Sarah's parking lot there and I would have people see the magic most magic vehicle and they would you know screaming hey do a magic trick and it's like it's not that kind of magic and I have uh, little cups at the table with beans on them and when I first started putting those out uh, I actually had people eating the beans yeah pretty gross <laughs> and I'm like no the beans are meant for counters they're not meant for you to eat but I think the funniest story would be um, uh, when uh, one of my customers came to the store and there was an expansion at that time called unhinged and uh, me and this other player who was uh, you know a little bit bigger than myself uh, we were sitting underneath the table playing this game of unhinged and uh, we had our shoes taken off and they were sitting on the table so there was two pairs of shoes sitting on the table and me and this other big guy underneath the table playing a game of magic when this other customer walked into the store and he's like what are you guys doing so it, it, and he still comes to the store so <laughs> we didn't scare him off Mo's a great guy the environment here really really uh condones like learning and really helps new players uh, get a lot better. I've been to some other places and it's just kind of um, a revolving door of people coming in and out um, but most uh, most people here and the people that come here um, seem to stick around. It's awesome.